What's going on guys and welcome to a new video where today we are going to be changing out the Mark V Golf GCI's rear lights to edition 31's and um, yeah I haven't actually picked up this camera for more than 12 months so bear with me I might be a bit rusty but um, yeah let's go ahead and get on with this video. Okay so these are the standard Mark V um, GTI lights uh, not in addition to these, which is just a red outlining, um, nothing special. And I'll go ahead and show you what we'll be replacing them with. So I actually have a box full of parts that are for this, um, oh, for the Golf. And it's all been sat in the loft ever since. But here we are. These are the edition 30 um, darkened lights, which we'll be putting on. I'll probably be machine polishing them after we've done. Um, but yeah, any badges and all sorts. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And first things first, let's get these lights off. Okay, so first things first. As you guys can see, there's little panels here. So we'll just go ahead and pop them off like that. And behind that we have uh one second this tripod. So from what it looks like we have got a 10mm there, and this is just a bulb which pops out, which we've got LED. What I'm gonna do is pull this panel down, which Ah, the screws right up in there. In there, which I'm going to do. Um, two of them. Take this piece off as well. Don't think there's any bolts under this, is there? No. No, nothing under there. It's not really worth taking out. Okay, so I'm going to get a torch. So they're actually just Phillips. So we'll grab a Phillips box. There's two Phillipses in each corner. That's one. And we'll go ahead and put them to the side. And there's a second one. So now we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and just start pulling off the panel. So these are just some clips. So it's just pulling down, trying to get some leeway, somewhere you can grab in the corner. And we'll just pop right off. There we go. Dramatically, but you guys can now see the 10 mils which hold the rear lights on, right there. So, we'll go ahead and just get them off. So, I've got my gun here with a 10 mil on it, so it's literally just bang, it's one, two. Once you guys have undone them, they sh these should, there we go, break free, and there you go, that's one out, so I'm put that to the side, and get the next one, which, that is, yeah, that's the right one, so that will just sit like that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these a clean and wipe down everywhere before I apply them. So I'll just, yeah, you can see I'll wipe that all down and to give that a quick clean before I free fit them. Just got some multi-purpose cleaner. Right. 
So there we go, they're all clean. You can see I've got a bit of rust here, but this boot lid is actually going to be replaced in the next video. Um, so, which is very exciting. Just want to go ahead and get the new one on now. So I'll grab the new light. These lights have, yeah, they're good to go. I'm just going to wipe down the side. They have just been in storage for about five months. I'm actually, I have got the right one, haven't I? What was it? Boot. That looks like the old one. Yeah, that's the new one. Just pop these back in like that. Pull nicely in there. Lift her up, get the gun. Put the two screws on each side. And then we'll just bah, screw these up. There we go. So that is the outside one on. She's well better already. And I'll go ahead and do the other side now. Okay, so I've just fitted the other side now. So it's now the display one on that side. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna pop these bowls back in. This one. And that's two. So now I can go ahead and put this panel back on and we can move on to these ones. A few moments later. Okay, so that took a little bit of patience, but eventually got in there and all the clips are in. So now I can put these little panels back on, which really didn't need to come out. Um, because you can access all the bulbs and everything once this rear panel is completely off. Slides in. And then there's two clips. So I'm going to put the Phillips screws back in uh, just in here. And then we'll move on to the next ones. Okay, so these rear lights, what I can see is once you peel back this little bit, little bit of carpet there are two little plastic 10 mil pieces which you need to undo to get the rear light out and just that plug there so that plug it's very very simple pull the little tab back and then she comes out like that so just put that to the side and these 10 mils like that is just put the end in there, crank it off, and the rest is by hand. Nice and easy. Um, I've never actually taken off these lights, so this is all very new to me as well. Bang! So that's one, and then another one up here. easier than the uh, S3s, it seems like. And then we're just going to go ahead and get the Edition 30 ones out of the box and I think I'll swap over the lights um, circuit board because I know that these ones are fault free. So just in case you guys haven't um, ever taken out the rear lights um, circuit board either, it's just pull them back 
and you'll be able to lift it all out so okay so i'm just gonna pry these back normally i would be wearing gloves but this one here and just that one there that's my bulbs out which look okay a bit of condensation in there but that's about all so i'll get the addition dirty light and swap it oh well that was the addition dirty light so i've got them out now so i'll get mine out well as you can see the back is a bit different well, my clip has snapped snapped on this one so Looks like there's only two, one there, and this is the stubborn one on the other light as well, like that, and yeah, that's no condensation in that one, so that's fine. I'll go ahead and put that one in there for safekeeping. Back in. The right way around. <laughs> and there we go. So, as you guys can see, these are the clips. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just give a wipe down inside all this, and then go ahead and get this on the car. And again, while I'm here, I'm just going to spray all this down and wipe it all. Nice. Okay, so I've got the rear light here, which I'm just going to slot in. So, that's that. And then I'm just going to do the reverse. The uninstalling. These are only plastic screws, so I don't think they need a lot of torque. And that plug should just go straight back in. Oh, there we go. I believe that is it. And then carpet back around. Already, look at the difference in that. That is a loads better, and you guys can see here the difference between the original normal rear light compared to the edition 30s. Ten times better. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I've got the other side on now. very very nice and there we go this is a job i've been meaning to do for a good while 
so I'm happy that it's finally done. And that will conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I've got a couple more, oh, well, a few more things to do to it. I've got a front badge, I've got a dog bone mount, um, all bits and bobs. And over here, we also have, under all of this, some more body panels. So, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed.